So, here we are. Day seven of our seven day 200 subscriber special. And uh, the next one is the oldest set. It's from 1983, at least that's when it's copyrighted from what I can read from here. It is the rarest of the ones I have as it was only available in Asda in England and Germany, I think it was in that period of time. And it's the most expensive one as, you know, five pound, five pound, three pound. All right, that was on eBay for quite a lot of money, but you know, five pound, 25 pounds. Although the retail I've seen on this on eBay is 50 to 80. So yeah, um, let's not waste any more time for this is the one that sort of brought up um, uh, the, the whole idea of doing a week of. It's not the first one I brought, but it's the one that cemented that I should do this week of when I hit a milestone. And it's the last day, and uh, yeah, so let's get on with it. We have the Matchbox Carry Case Garage. Yep, the Carry Case Garage. And it is the oldest one. Uh, it's got that sort of red and black packaging. You bring it here, it's uh, 1983, it's scribbled on there, and you see you've got a helicopter and a car. A very, very 80s child. This is before I was born. You know, I was born in 88, so I'm technically an 80s child, but uh, it's before I was born. Uh, on the back, all the things. The box is, unfortunately, rather beaten up. Uh, this was a charity shop find, of course. Uh, but you can see what you can do. Oh, actually, baby bell. Yeah, he's on the set, so we'll grab that one and use that. But yeah. No, I don't think this one has instruction manuals. It's been a couple of months since I opened it to check, and I'm not 100% sure it's fully complete. Oh, I just torn the box. God damn it. Uh, but let's get her out. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm, great. Oh, well, you know, box forte is never my forte. So there's nothing else in the box, so I'm just going to put it over there so it doesn't get trashed. But yes, this is a garage carry case to carry all of your toy cars in. There's no setup, really, because it mostly came set up. Good God, I just noticed how very dusty it is inside. The idea is you put the cars in, you can push the buttons to launch them, and obviously it's just a kind of highway street, uh, and you can store cars in here. So uh, I'm going to grab this one from over here because I said I was going to. Here you go, this uh, 928. When is this one? This is... Uh, 1979, so this is four years beforehand. It's the kind of toy you would find here. Um, but you can store them in there like that. You can store your toy cars in, that's no problem. Put the lid on, and they're stored. As you can see, we've got Motel right on the side here, nice little bit of detail. It doesn't have the flags, unfortunately. That's uh, a shame. The flags are gone, but what can you expect with a set this old? Uh, we do have a Texaco fuel pump, which would go there. And it's actually still got the plastic attached, which is uh, kind of impressive if you ask me. So that would fit on there like uh, that, although it's not going to stay on because it's loose as all buttery doodah. Now, is there a way to fold this up? I don't think there is. What's on the bottom? 1982 CC18 Made in England Matchbox International Limited. Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's exactly what it says. Uh, you obviously get a few pieces of road as well, which, oh gosh, how does this work again? I figured this out. You're supposed to sign a... Uh, that's it. You're supposed to sort of slide these in here like that. And they're the carry handles. And I think when you carry it, you just kind of slip it in there. No, I don't know. <gasps> Excuse me. Help. How does this work? Ah, uh, box. Come and rescue me. I know I tore you earlier on, but come rescue me. How does this work? Oh... Oh, God, more, another bit fell off the box. God, this is what I get for storing in the bird room. So they're supposed to kind of loosely sit on. There's, uh, oh, that's it. See, there's a couple of notches on the end of here. There's a couple of notches on the end. So when you want to set it up, you sort of just put it out like that. And uh, we'll put this one on as well, obviously. You know, full demonstration here. We're not going to cheap out, not on the last day. Um, I mean, we could do, I could just stop the video now and say, see you later. And then when you want to carry it, you kind of bring them both in like this. And there's two notches at the bottom. Is that it? Or is it? Yes, that's it. So there's two notches in there, which you then slide this in if you put this the right bloody way around, which I must... Well, I did put the right... Oh, my God. Did I ever mention that I am a massive incompetent baboon? Because if I didn't, and I'd like to make it clear, 
right now that I am a massive incompetent baboon who's going to break this set if I'm not careful. I said it's the most bloody expensive one. Oh, why are you doing this to me? Why does this happen to me? Some kind of meme song, singing a song. What? What is going on? Right, it's got to go that way. Yeah, it's got to go that way to put her in. So the road has to come out this way, but there's no feasible way to do that. And it's... Oh my God. Have I just, did, did I just end up with the wrong set? Hooray, the ultimate day, the very last day, the best content, the best content we have, the best set, the rarest set, the most uncommon set. The splendiferic, end of the line, super duper amazing, stupid set. And it doesn't flipping work. Ah. Ah. Well, anyway, the idea is you put them in and you pick it up and carry it around like this. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think I made the point. And uh, you get your cars. And if you put them inside, I'm going to put them in this one. So it's in the heliport. It's supposed to be held. And you then press the button. And it ejects the car into the road. So let's do it up here so you can actually see it. So he's in there, as you can see, he's in there. And there's a plastic button, you press the button, and into the road he goes. And yeah, other than that, it's just a kind of garage street. There's parking on the roof for some reason. Don't know why. Yeah. God, that's dusty. And that concludes our week of. That was, uh, truthfully, uh, if I'm totally honest with you, that's actually a bit of a letdown, this last one. But, uh, you know, it's one of those sort of unique things that you don't see very often. It's also meant to be a high screen and so forth. But uh, let's be fair, it's not something you often see. Um, I was lucky to stumble across it. I quite like it. I also like the fact this Porsche door won't open. No, it's this one that doesn't open. I like toys that have been beaten up. So, yeah, that was my week of... Matchbox and Hot Wheels toy car sets. Thank you very much for tuning in. Genuinely appreciate it a lot. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the future. Yeah. Not much else to say, really. He's only got one engine, and I dropped him. <laughs>